Libra, what's shaking? Now, welcome to Horoscope Ish. I'm Lindsay. This is for entertainment purposes only. And, uh, but if something does resonate, woohoo! Resonate. I had my Libra energy shuffle this so I didn't have them do anything, but uh, it was so cute. I'm like waiting for one of these videos to upload, and my wife is like, I shuffled your cards, and I'm like, ah! Right before Lee or, or Libra's energy, right? Um, you know, and I was like, you're my closest relationship. That's so special that you shuffled my cards. And now I have destroyed, oh. <laughs> this was shuffled by an Aquarian. Let's go. Bigger picture for Libra when it comes to this Virgo full moon. There we go, full moon. I'm just smiling over here. Smiling. You got four cards. We got some structure headed your, in your heart here. All right. Been addicted to something, but you know why? Because it's truth. And you know what? You got a message on a Virgo note, like um, something about work um, or uh, employment. Like somebody's letting you know about something. Um, that's what's on your mind, or that's the heart of the matter. Oh, I'm addicted. Oh, I'm addicted. I'm attached. I'm attached. I'm attached. And I know why. There's a two involved. So that means there's support. This is very spiritual. Wow. Um, yeah. You want to be protective about something that uh, got shared. There's a tongue thing involved. Like when you get seriously where you do something with your tongue. Um, I just kind of noticed that my tongue was like hanging out a little bit. And I don't know. It's like share it. Okay, I'll share it. Um, the issue here is that um, there's some kind of betrayal. What's the word you want me to look at? Doormat? Oh, something outside of you is a doormat. Like you see it being treated as a doormat a person. This could be you. You're treated like a doormat. And that's not it. But outside of you, uh, I can't want the courage. That's what it is. Got it. Okay. There's some kind of courage that you, you want to say something like, stop running over them. Hmm. Well done! I'm gonna have my Aquarius shuffle these more often. All right, um, literally, what's the, you wanna go, that is not love. That is not love. You're mistaking something, my friend. This has to do with a work opportunity. It's tiny AF, too. And you're like, Man, you're side-eyeing something, buddy. Um, okay, there's a loss. In the recent past, there's a loss. Um, because of rejection. Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. This has to do with something that you deeply desire within. You deeply desire this. Uh, especially on a, a gut level. Like, you know... <sighs> You know something's been lost because of rejection. But that can always turn around. I just got literally to flip it. Got it, okay. This is gonna be like a really, this is closer to innocence, like the virgin, like innocence. Um, mm, we got an enlightened Libra here. Mm -hmm. You're enlightened. That's fascinating to me.
you're out in the public eye too, but you're not saying much. You got this stoicness about you. But on a level, it's almost like uh, people are seeing you get out of some type of isolation with your thoughts and your actions. Like you've been isolating yourself somehow. Um, how? Oh, oh. An enlightened person would be doing that. Okay. Uh -huh. There's more expansion. This has to do with contradictory ideas, logic and soul. Because if you separate them in any capacity, you're going to get this kind of, like, people looking at you, like, confused, almost. Like, because you changed. I got, I got a Uranus feel from that, like a sudden change. Um, if you're enlightened, you are also looking for something below surface level. Um, that real, that, that raw. Oh, you like it raw? That is so not popular. I love that for you, Libra. Um, it's not as popular. You like raw. Rawness. Um, it doesn't even, something doesn't even have to be finished. Uh, just in life in general, it doesn't even have to be finished for you to just see the absolute beauty in it. Um, Yeah, this seems like working on, um, ooh, screw it, we're going on. There's some deception. On a dreamy level, 18. Got Leo energy there, the confidence. Uh, something you're afraid to have fun with or be around. Um, your heart's telling you, please do it, please do it, please do it. Your heart's invested, that's for sure. In telling, in, in saying like, hey, wait a second, that's not love. This is innocence. So what's what's so what's so deceptive, especially around dreams? At night, there's deception. Ooh, it feels so like you gotta say something, Libra. Like you're uh, this. You don't see this coming, so it hasn't happened yet. But I didn't even have to shuffle more to know that you're gonna. Ah, something also. Remember how. There's another read for Libra where something happens in the daytime. Something's happening now in, at night that you don't see coming. That you're going to be like, whoa, 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 whoa. That is so deceptive. Like, you want to, oh, you want to say something. It may cost you something you don't, oh... You have something inside your heart, and it may it may expose. Okay, not expose, but like it, it'll it raise. I would say a white flag, but there's something like red flagish about it, like a root chakra thing. Something very red flagish about it on an external level, and very white flag about it on an internal level. Ha! Huh? Maybe that's why I was told to put on a white sweatshirt. Um, told meaning I felt inspired to. Uh, put on my white floofer. Mm. That makes so much sense. Um, you're gonna see something as, as uh, it's not even competition, like. I'm trying to get the feeling. What does that sound like? What are those words that get the feeling out? You gotta change the routine. 
You gotta change the routine because the competition is ridiculous. Because everybody feels a pull toward it. Oh my god, yes, yes, yes. No, it's like, no, you gotta change the routine. Like, in the end of this, you're gonna be like, no, this is not even happening. This is this shouldn't even be routine. Um, and it does have to do with an asset level. Someone has an asset that is not tangible. It's more... You can receive it or reject it. And it's mostly rejected. It's communication. Um, <laughs> like, you're gonna see that this situation where you're watching somebody or it's you. No, you're watching somebody. You're watching somebody get run over. And they don't even know it's happening. Like, it's, they're like, ow, what was that? I didn't even see it coming. <laughs> I saw it coming though. Somebody has, it, you. Somebody doesn't have the angle that you do, the view that you have. And um, it's got to stop. Like, this has to stop now. So what, what, are you, what, are you asking, what are you asking Libra to do on a Virgo level? It's some kind of service to others. Like, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> Whatever you do, Libra, don't walk away. Okay? Don't walk away. Don't do it. Don't walk away. Free will will have you walk away. <sighs> Love you. <laughs>